All right, we got another clang and bang workout coming to you today. We're gonna focus on the upper body, so we're gonna do some curls, we're gonna do some bent over rows, some presses, some front raises, and some side raises. I'm gonna do that with the Tabata, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, but the kicker for today's workout is gonna be during that 10 seconds of rest, you have to hold the barbell or the weights in a static position. So, for instance, on the curl, as soon as I'm done curling, as that 20 seconds is done, I'm gonna hold the static position at a 90 degree angle with the curl. For the uh, press, I'm gonna hold the barbell or the curl bar up overhead. For the bent over row, I'm gonna hold the bar pinned to my chest. For the front raises, I'm gonna hold at the top. Side raises, I'm gonna hold at the top out at the side. Why am I doing this? So. Static training, I know I've talked about it before, is often overlooked in everybody's training. Uh, and this workout today would be a great kind of finisher for maybe the end of your strength session, or it's just a great workout for standalone. If you just really wanna get a good pump on for your upper body, you only got a little bit of time, jump in. You do not have to use a lot of weight for this workout. As you're gonna see, I'm only gonna use uh, fives on either side of the curl bar because it's gonna get really difficult really fast with having to hold those 10 second holds in a static position. So uh, what happens there? It's just another way that um, you can stimulate the muscle that you're not doing in normal training by doing dynamic movements, right? And there's a whole lot of studies out there. We'll throw some links in the bio here that you can read up a little more on static training. I won't get into all the science and the nerdy stuff with that, but check out in the down in the bio some of that information if you want to read up a little more. But right now, let's get our swole on. Oh, Brandon, that was bad. Woo! In the best way, it was bad. Oh my goodness. Quick recap. Made some changes right off the bat. Initially, I was gonna think about going eight rounds of each movement and do all eight rounds in a row of, say, the bicep curl, and then move into the press all eight rounds. After about two rounds in, three rounds in, it became very apparent it was gonna be a lot smarter to go four rounds at a time per each movement but do the whole thing twice through. So you're still gonna get your eight rounds in, but four rounds between switching movements, right? So four rounds of the bicep curl, four rounds of the press, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of that static hold. Man, did it get really hard really quick. Uh, I had the curl bar with five pounds on either side, probably too much, honestly, for uh, the curl. Getting to, being able to hold here and then continue to crank out reps was really, really tough. Uh, I had to take probably more breaks than I wanted to on some stuff, so definitely decrease the weight. This is something you could do with just a set of 10 pound plates, five pound plates, curl those, uh, use them for bent over rows, press them overhead. You don't even need a barbell if you don't have one, right? So just uh, something small like that is gonna be great because those static holds, that 10 seconds feels like an eternity. So what I would focus on is those static holds. Okay, if you're gonna take your rest, take it during the 20 seconds of work where you're supposed to be getting reps, right? And don't go flying off the handle trying to get as many reps as you can in that 20 seconds. Pace yourself, right? Set a good rhythm that you can maintain for that 20 seconds, maybe take a little break in there, but really try to focus on that 10 seconds into the next 10, the 10 second uh, static hold into the next 10 seconds of dynamic movements, right? So focusing on holding that static position with the curl and then going right into as many reps as I can get before I have to take a break or if I can get through that full 20 seconds. So this was an awesome workout, definitely gonna use it 
in uh, different movements in different styles with those static holds on the 10 seconds rest. Hope you guys like it. Remember to like, subscribe, put questions, comments down below.